Welcome to our tutorial on creating a chatbot using the ChatGPT API from OpenAI. In this tutorial, we'll be using HTML, CSS, JavaScript to build our chatbot. You can look at the UI, how the chatbot will be actually looking. Now, let's give some prompt and see how the chatbot is responding. Full form of FIFA. So we can see that our chatbot is responding with the answer. So next question I'll be asking who is the Lionel Messi? So we can see that it is responding correctly. Now let's ask some question about coding. Can you give me code to reverse a string in Python? To work with open AI APIs, you need to first create an account with OpenAI. So first we will go to openai.com where we can see this, we have an option for API. Click on API link. It will ask for you login or sign up. You can sign up if you, are, you don't have an account or you can log in using your existing credentials. So once you're logged in, you can go to personal section but in under personal section, you will have a view API keys. You can click on this. You can click on create new API key. And copy this API key, which will be used to make a request to API. As we have our API key, now let's go and look into our code. The first file which we will look is index.html. So in this, I have created a form input which will be used to input our question. Then we have a title and then we have a div called chat message, which will be updated based on our conversation with the chatbot. Apart from that, you will see that I have used style.css to style the bot. Apart from that, Axios library, which is an external library, which is used to make a call to API. The next file is our app.js, which is our main file to make a call. So let's go and log into app.js. So in app.js, you will see that I have taken a element for form, input, and message. Then this is our API key, which I have created a variable here. Apart from that, you will see that I have added as event listener on submit button for the form. On every submit, it will make a call using Axios, and these are the parameter which we need to use. So few parameters. There is like model name, temperature, max token, top P, frequency penalty, and presence penalty. And apart from that, for the authorization, we have to use header using this bearer type. Let's talk about response. The response which we get from API is actually in form of JSON, and we need to process it before we display it in our chatbot. We will look into the network request. Give me, me a joke about programming. Program, programming. You will see that it has made a request and the request was successful. And the response is actually a JSON format response, which we will format it and see. Actual message which we get is under text, which is actually a part of choice. That's the main reason we are going to response data choices. This is array of zero, and then we are getting the text property of out of that. Let's talk about two major part of the code, which is used to display message in our chatbot. So as you can see, we have this section and this section. Every time we enter any question, the chatbot is updated. So you can see here the once the form is submitted, I'm adding this class of message and user message, which has this user.png as part of my icons. 
and once we have the response we update the response as well using the same but here we are using bot message as a class and for bot we are using another icons all the codes used in this tutorial will be available on github you can easily access it and use it as a starting point for your own chatbot project but remember uh, you have to get your own api key from openai to use this api a github link will be available in the description of this video if you found this tutorial helpful and informative please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you have any suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching